So far in this course, we have gone over reverse engineering and its importance in industry, the facet cleanup tools in ANSYS Discovery, and the reverse engineering tools in ANSYS Discovery. Now we are ready to do a complete reverse engineer of a product part from start to finish. The part we are going to reverse engineer is a water bottle. Water bottles, especially ones with handles that allow for easy transport for commuters, are quite popular. Say you are looking to create an accessory or a new feature for the water bottle, but you don't have a CAD model to work with. Starting from an STL scan of a water bottle, let's work on getting a complete solid part. The original scan we are working with has some easy to spot errors, so let's get to fixing those first. Click Check Facets to identify the problem areas. It lists that the mesh is not watertight and is self-intersecting and has non-manifold vertices. We can attempt to fix everything in one click using AutoFix. I'll show that now. Undoing this, let's try a manual cleanup. Use the holes, sharps, intersections, overconnected tools as necessary. Once all of the issues are fixed, let's use shrink wrap to get a consistent facet layout over the water bottle. Let's pick a gap size of one millimeter and click the green check mark. Now that we have a clean facet body, we can begin our plan for reverse engineering. For this type of part, let's attack this piecewise. Create a series of planes along the main length of the water bottle. To create new planes easily off of an existing plane, activate the Move tool and holding Control, move the plane in one of the translational or rotational directions. Let's position the plane strategically on either side of the handle as well as ending before the cap region of the water bottle. Activate the Skin Surface tool and control select the two bottom planes. Next, select the two middle planes and complete the operation. Then repeat for the upper two planes. Hide the series of planes and let's turn our attention to the handle. The handle could be approached a couple of different ways. You can use the same plane method, or you can make manual skin surface patches. Let's begin with the plane method. Create a series of planes that cover sections of the handle. Four planes should be enough. Use the Skin Surface tool to create surfaces between each handle section. Now, let's hide all of the planes and the mesh body to get a better view of what we are working with. So far, we have extracted the main body contours of the water bottle. We still need to reverse engineer the two sections where the handle meets the bottle and the top portion where the bottle cap is located. Let's simplify the bottom section of the bottle with a planar surface using the fill tool on the bottom edge loop. Let's unhide the mesh scan body and activate the skin surface tool. This time we are going to make some manual skin surface patches. With the tool active, click once to place one vertex and then click again along the existing surface edges to get a patch. Let's make a large patch that goes about 40% of the way around the bottle. Let's do the same for the other side. At this point, it may be wise to use the stitch tool found in the repair tab to connect all the surface bodies. Then fill in the remaining gap using another manual patch or by using the blend tool. Now it is time to connect the handle to the bottle. Let's use blend to fill the remaining gap. 
Then let's select the edge loop of the handle portion and copy and paste the curves. Use fit curves to clean up the resulting curves if necessary. Using those curves, pull towards the bottle body. You can set the pull direction to be in the X direction. Then use the combine tool to cut the intersecting portion. Following that, use the split tool to define the region where the handle meets the bottle. Finally, detach the excess. Let's repeat the same procedure on the top handle region. Let's turn our attention to the final portion, the bottle cap region. Let's create a series of planes that intersect each step of the bottle cap region. Back in the Facets tab, use the Extract Curves tool on the three planes. If any of the resulting curves are not perfect circles, use Fit Curves. Use Fill to create a circular surface for each of the circular curves. Then, use Pull to create the cylindrical regions. You can use the Up To tool to pull the faces up to a target location. In this case, each flat portion of the bottle cap region. If any of the skin surface plane extractions have strange edge results, I suggest you use a new plane positioned slightly inward to use as a cutter surface to get a clean edge loop. Let's make sure any solid bodies are turned to surface bodies so that we can later stitch all the surface bodies together. Typically, this is done by detaching and deleting a surface on the solid. Then you can use Blend to fill in the gaps between surface bodies. This leaves us with the complete outer geometry of the water bottle. Now, if the body is not already a solid body, use the Stitch tool found in the Repair tab to solidify the surface body. Let's show the shrink-wrapped mesh and use the Auto Skin tool to see how Discovery automatically reverse engineers this bottle. Wow, it looks great! Comparing this to our manual reverse engineering job side by side, you can see the similarities in surface patch locations. At this point, you should have a solid understanding of the many reverse engineering techniques in ANSYS Discovery. This concludes the course on reverse engineering in ANSYS Discovery. If you are interested in learning more about ANSYS Discovery or other ANSYS products, please visit the ANSYS Innovation Space and check out our collection of instructional courses.